who doesn't like a good tuna salad sandwich? Today, we're gonna make an elevated version of one. Welcome to Cooking with Chef Tuan, and I am super excited and very, very happy to say thank you so much for 30,000 subscribers. I never thought I'd get here, and it's, to me, it's a big accomplishment, and I just wanna say thank you to everyone that has subscribed and is watching this channel and supporting me and just sharing the videos and also clicking the like and subscribe button down below. I really appreciate that. And I really wanna get into this video, a fresh blackfin tuna that I caught down on the Florida Keys. One of these days, I'm gonna get a catch and cook video going. I just kinda of have to learn how to film and fish at the same time. Um, so if any of you guys have catch and cook channels, if you guys could just give me some pointers, that would be awesome. All right, and without further ado, let's get started on today's video. And here's the star of the show, some blackfin tuna that we caught fresh down in the keys, and then some aromatics that we're gonna use to flavor our oil. Now, simple preparation, all you have to do is remove the loin from the skin and just toss that. And as usual, all the ingredients will be linked in the description box down below. Now it's important to remove the bloodline from fish before you cook it because it could give an off-putting and offensive flavor. And all I'm doing now is just slicing the tuna into about one inch thick steaks. This way, for the most part, the tuna will all cook evenly. And the seasoning is very simple. All we're gonna do is just put a little bit of kosher salt onto the fish and just let it sit here while we go and prep our aromatics. Thinly slice your shallots, smash your garlic and if you want to you can remove the seeds from the chili i left mine in and now all i'm doing is turning on my induction burner and set it to 150 degrees fahrenheit and i'm also going to put my aromatics into the oil when it's cold that way it can flavor the oil as it's heating up and the cooktop that i'm using the heston q i will link their information down in the description box below go check them out it lets you program the temperature, the time, all that stuff. It's a smart induction cooktop. You can control everything through its app on your tablet or your phone, and it just makes life a lot easier. Now, the only thing we have to do is set the timer for 40 minutes. And once we hit start, we can just walk away until it's done. Now, if you don't have this induction burner, you don't have to worry about it. You can do it on the stovetop. Just make sure that you maintain the proper temperature that way you don't overcook your fish or risk the chance of forgetting it and burning it. And once it's done, all I'm doing now is just skimming off the foam off the top before I go and put this into a container and let it cool. And that way we can store it in the fridge for up to two weeks or you can dig right on in. It's all up to you what you want to do. And that's it. How easy was that? This blackfin tuna looks absolutely stunning. Now I'm going to put this into a container with a tight fitting lid and that way I can keep it in my fridge for a couple of weeks. All you have to do now is just pack your tuna very tightly in the container and then through a strainer, pour the oil in there enough to cover the tuna. Now with this flavored oil, you can go and use it to make a very nice salad dressing, kind of like a Caesar flavored salad dressing, which is absolutely awesome. And what I ended up doing with my tuna was I split it into two containers because I was going to gift one to one of my friends. And here we are the next day, we're gonna go and make the tuna salad sandwich. Now with this particular tuna salad sandwich preparation, you want to leave your tuna into nice sized chunks. You don't wanna completely smash it. Then you wanna season it with some salt, pepper, I'm gonna use, for one sandwich, I'm gonna use the zest of a quarter of a lemon and then the juice of a quarter of a lemon. Another ingredient that sets this tuna salad sandwich apart from the rest is the use of a very nice, rich Japanese mayonnaise. Now, you can go and use the store-bought one, but I just made a video with my homemade version of a Japanese mayonnaise, which you see here, which I will also put in the description box down below so you can have the recipe at your fingertips. Now with this fresh tuna that we just made and this Japanese mayonnaise that's just packed full of umami, 
This is going to be an amazing sandwich that I know you're going to love. And that's it for the tuna salad. Now we only have to prep two more ingredients for our sandwich. Here, I'm just gonna do a cross section on a tomato, just drop in boiling water for about 30, 40 seconds until the skin comes off, and then drop it in ice water so it stops cooking, and then just peel the skin and it's ready to be sliced. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because this sandwich or tuna salad sandwiches are soft sandwiches. And if you don't bite through the skin of the tomato and you pull the sandwich away, you might pull the whole tomato out of the sandwich. And this way you can prevent that mess from happening. And like everything in your sandwich or anything that you cook, always season salt, pepper, and a little bit of really good extra virgin olive oil. And the bread that I'm using that I found to be the best for this tuna salad sandwich is a toasted brioche bun. Now, I didn't use butter because I didn't want to make this any more rich to take away from the tuna. So I just used a little bit of olive oil just to toast the bun so it's nice and crispy. Now it's time to assemble our sandwich. All you have to do is just get your tuna salad mix and just spoon it onto the bottom bun, just like how you see I'm doing. Make sure you kind of pack it in there. You want to fit as much as you can on there and then gently place your tomatoes on top of the tuna. Put the top bun on and that's it. What I'm going to be serving alongside the sandwich today is just a very simple green salad with a Dijon vinaigrette. And for some extra crunch, I'm going to add some toasted pumpkin seeds. The vinaigrette recipe will also be down in the description box below. And just look at our tuna salad sandwich with a nice refreshing green salad. Let's go enjoy this. So our tuna sandwich is done. That was a lot of work for just making a tuna salad sandwich. After all our hard work and a fun day of fishing, this is what we have. It's time to dig in. So here you go, guys. Fresh caught blackfin tuna conserva or tuna confit with homemade Japanese style mayonnaise, lemon, and fresh tomato on a brioche bun. I am so excited for this. All right. Now you don't have to go and catch your own tuna to make this. If you wanna make this, Use my meal recipe and add lemon zest and lemon juice to it and get some high quality canned tuna and do what I did. Just break it up into little chunks and just fold it into the mayonnaise. I'm going in for another bite. It's fantastic. Give me a chunk of this. There you go. Look at that. Just flakes apart, super soft. I mean, we cooked it low and the salad just goes to accompany the tuna. Mm. A nice palate cleanser in between. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the 30,000. Let's go get another 30,000. Take care of yourselves guys. And as always, peace.